Ras Chakravarti, and I have a beautiful story to tell you uh, how God used my total ignorance to bless somebody. I'm part of a handicapped encounter uh, Christ retreat group, and we are all on retreat together, able-bodied volunteers with disabled partners, and you do for your partner whatever they can't do for themselves. There are small talks and there are table discussions, and at night you put your partner to bed. So my partner's name was Carmen, and her body shape was exactly like a wheelchair. You couldn't go under her arms and stand up because her body wouldn't straighten out. You had to go under her knees and around her shoulders. So I did, I picked her up under her knees and around her shoulders, but when I straightened up, the bed hit the back of my knees and we both sat down really quickly. And I thought to myself, uh-oh, if I try to stand up, we're both gonna be on the floor. So I thought for a moment and I realized I was holding her in my arms and in my lap and I just asked her if she would like a few lullabies and we've been singing our kids to sleep for years. So she twinkled back up at me, she was nonverbal. she twinkled back up to me and our eyes kind of locked on the first song and I was singing every lullaby I knew, you know, um, Swing Low Sweet Chariot, I'm Only Human and various and hymns that I could think of, and I finally ended up with Michael Rowe, the boat ashore, with verses you've never heard and will never hear again, because I knew the people that were putting their partners to bed would eventually come down and check on us and we'd be fine. We must have sung for about, I must have sung to her for about half an hour, just keeping that eye glance and the warm, soft tone. And then someone came and she got lifted up out of my lap <laughs> into bed, and we got her door adjusted just so. And the folks went down to the evening meeting. I spent a little bit more time with Carmen. It was in an old uh, convent, so the doors were pretty close together. I walked down three doors and fell on my knees because I don't think Carmen had been held in the arms of love in more than 40 years. God used my mistake of standing too close to the bed to lavish his tenderness on Carmen. And I've never forgotten. He can use us whether we know it or not, we just have to be open. Thanks. Good morning. I love this Advent season and hearing Bill talk about the word Emmanuel. It's one of my absolutely favorite words. I've always loved it because to me it means and serves as a reminder that God is here. He is right here, right now, for all of us. And I think when um, Sue mentioned the idea of God glimpses, to me that's what that meant. To me a glimpse from God is evidence in my personal life, something very personal where God is speaking to me in a way that I know it's Him. So I'm going to start with a little prayer um, about this moment together and Heavenly Father uh, please give me the ability to see what it is you want me to see on this day to hear what you want me to hear to show me how you delight in me and love me personally and for me God to have you place others on my heart on this day that you know are longing to see you more and be comforted by you let everything we say and do be your will, God, not mine. And in that, I ask for your presence here to encourage others to seek you more and get more and more glimpses of you in their lives. Amen. So that is the longing of my heart. And um, I've had very simple practices my whole life. And I do say it's a practice because it's easy to think that God is here and manifest his presence in very bold, dramatic ways for other people. But what about me? And the truth is I've had some, a few grand glimpses of God, but frankly, I've really worked on every day in my faith walk, asking myself some very simple things in the morning in silence. So I, I do ask most days, I try to do it every day, but I, imperfect. Um, so sometimes I'll say, God, give me your eyes to see what it is you want me to see. And then I go through the day like it's, I'm in a children's highlights book and look for those signs. 
A second thing is God place in your heart who it is that longs for you today. And no matter who God says in my silence, I make myself call them and just say, hi, I've missed you. And another thing I do is just look for God's signs that he loves me, that I am his beloved. Just as he loved Jesus, he loves each of us and he will do things surely for our joy. And when I ask myself those questions, I'm fully aware that God is right here, right now for me. And it serves as personal proof, it serves as evidence that I am getting a glimpse of God, that when I seek him, he shows and reveals himself to even me. He loves me and he loves you. And for what he does for one of us, he will do for all of his beloved children. So this Advent, my prayer for you is that you too will seek him with all your heart and know that he will reveal himself to you in big ways and small. Amen. Mm -hmm.